Hi, Eva. Thanks for taking this time with me today. Thanks for uh, allowing me to uh, give a little bit of my insight. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Now, typically when I talk to buyers, um, they tend to be really focused on rate. And I always warn them, rate is one part of a multi-part contract that they're going to sign. And so really to be aware of the small print. And one of the keys about small print that I find that clients get surprised on later is pale penalties. So if you wouldn't mind, can we have a quick five-minute discussion on pale penalties? Sure. So typically when a client signs a mortgage, whether it's a bank or a monoline lender, there are always terms and conditions to that mortgage. And if they happen to break that contract before that term is up, so as an example, if someone signs a five-year mortgage, three years down the road, they decide to sell it or refinance it. They're actually breaking the term. And because they do that, there's a penalty involved that the bank is charging them because they haven't fulfilled their contract. Well, that makes sense. And life happens, you know, and um, we may want to move to another house. Uh, there's divorce, there's people being transferred. There's all of a sudden we had too many kids over three years and we have no room. And so I think that's an important part to understand. Now, uh, how, how are um, variable rate mortgages, uh, sorry, pay penalties calculated? So with a variable rate mortgage, doesn't matter where in the term that they break it um, it's always just three months interest oh, okay perfect so it doesn't matter how much term is left none okay and uh, what's a I hear it um, IRD an interest rate differential what's that all about so that's a little bit more complicated and it actually varies between every single bank and lender out there and Interest rate differential can be calculated typically one of three ways. Um, it'll either be the standard rate, which is they'll take your current discounted rate and the remaining term that you have left. So say it's a, you have a five-year fixed, three years down the road you sell it, you would still owe on the two-year interest rate. So they'll actually take your discounted rate times the what the two-year rate is, that spread, times the remaining amount of money, times the remaining amount of time. Okay, that sounds like it could be a big number. Uh, it sure can be. <laughs> um, and that, again, is looking at the fine print. There's also um, a discounted rate, interest rate differential. And so what that is, is they'll take your contract rate and look at the difference between the posted rate for the remaining term times the remaining amount of money. So again, if a lender calculates it that way, it's even more expensive for the consumer when they break their mortgage. And these are the sort of things that you are aware of um, and you're able to guide the client in what their options are with each Correct. one? Okay. Correct. And so some lenders actually use what's called the posted rate, interest rate differential, and it's where they actually take the five-year posted rate that they were offered for their mortgage instead of the actual discounted rate that they have, and they take that spread and times it by the remaining amount of money and the remaining amount of time. Now, you used a term earlier, monoline lender. What is that? Sure. So a monoline lender is a lender brokers use in the broker channel. And I'll just give you an example. First National Financial, they're the largest non-bank lender in Canada. They've been in business for over 30 years, and they're actually funded by TD Bank. So typically what happens is big banks give monoline lenders like a very large line of credit, and from that, they lend it out in mortgage money. Now, there's probably a difference between the rate and actually the cost of borrowing. So it, is it safe to say that the lowest rate is always giving you the lowest cost of borrowing? No. Most people are so focused on just acquiring the lowest interest rate that they don't look at the big picture, right? And so terms and conditions can make a big impact on actually what the lowest cost of borrowing is. So as an example, we just talked about the difference in pay in penalties, as there is also a difference in the amount of money that you can prepay on your mortgage without any penalties. So 
you know, it's, it's more than just a rate. It's actually calculating all of the above. And, and again, most people think, I'm never going to sell my house in five years. I'm not going to move. But, you know, you have to understand, nobody has that crystal ball. Yeah. You may lose your job tomorrow and can't afford to, you know, make your mortgage payments. You may have, you know, triplets and you've just immediately outgrown your home. And so, you know, and again, you mentioned divorce, people divorce, there's always something that could happen. And so rather than just focusing on, you know, an interest rate of say, and I'm going to use an example, 3.49 as compared to 3.59. But if you look at that over five years, you know, the, the savings is minimal compared to say a payout penalty between 3500 with First National Financial and say CIBC, which might be like 15000 Perfect. So I think you brought a lot of clarity and I can really see the value on why somebody would want to come and speak to somebody with multiple different options rather than just head to the bank. And because there's probably a lot of little hidden traps or surprises that can go on in the contract that can surprise them five, day, five years or three years down the road if um, life changes. Jason, I have something to share. Um, I did a calculation just comparing a mortgage that um, you know, most people typically have that mortgage balance and then just using a three-year term that they're going to break it. And I've done the calculations between all the top five banks and our mono line lender, First National Financial. So um, I'll share that with you at the end. And if anybody wants to download it and have a look, by all means, it's available to them. Perfect. Yeah, it's on the screen right now. And so anybody, if uh, you'd like to have the information, you can just click the link below and download it. Now, Eva, if somebody had wanted to contact you, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, you can reach me at my direct office line at 780-244-0505, or you can call me on my cell, 780-718-2979. Beautiful. And do you have a website that they can look at as well? You bet. www.mortgagetailors.com and it's M-O-R-T-G-A-G-E-T-A-I-L-O-R-S.com. Perfect. Well, thanks for taking this time, Eva, and uh, have a great afternoon. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Bye.